Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. And of course, I'm your host, David Burroughs. Thanks so much for taking the time to tune in and watch this show. Uh, we're going out here weekly and we just seem to be getting bigger and better. And it's thanks to all of you who've been watching the show, of course. But I know you've been sharing with at least five of your friends, right? That's the rule around here. Share with your friends and remember to subscribe. Get a lot of views, but not as many subscribers as viewers. So take the time, click on the subscribe button, and that way you'll know of what's happening here on the show. Okay, lots to talk about this week. Some very exciting things. We'll be talking about the Stubborn Mule once again. We'll do a follow-up with that. We've got our ticket winners for the Led Zeppelin and Rush tribute going to be happening down at the Stubborn Mule on January the 28th. Yes, coming up this month already, January 28th, 2012, down at the Stubborn Mule. And we'll be announcing those winners a little bit later on in the show. Some other things happening down on the show, we'll be talking about the Hotel California, the Eagles tribute, and of course, the second annual Camel Street State reunion party going to be happening down there in February. We'll be talking about that later on in the show. Some very special announcements are going to be coming up at the end of this show. You're going to want to watch the whole show. Don't scroll past anything because if you do, when you get to the end, it won't make sense. See, I did it that way on purpose, so you have to watch the whole show. Okay, some exciting announcements coming up. We're going to be doing some things together with K106.3 and Blackburn Radio, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's get to our YouTube video of the week. I was out at Puck Around the other day, and I ran into Kip Cuthbert down there and came across a video on YouTube of him back in 1991, and I talked to Kip, and he said, yes, David, you have my permission. Go ahead and use my video. So, how many of you remember downtown at the Elephant Castle? That was where Kip started karaoke. He was the first guy around town to do karaoke. Not me, Kip was, okay? Back in the day at the Elephant Castle in 1991, Here's your YouTube video of the week and Captain Kip's karaoke. Take a look. It's the YouTube video of the week. All right, there you go. Captain Kip Karaoke, Kip Cuthbert, doing uh, some karaoke back in 1991. Yes, a little while ago, down at the Elephant Castle that used to be downtown. Uh, the Elephant Castle no longer there, of course, but that's where karaoke got started around town with Kip Cuthbert, Captain Kip's Karaoke. So you can get down to Puck Around. Kip's still around and doing Name That Tune down at Puck Around. He's there all during the week. And, of course, on the weekends they have some live bands. Sometimes Kip's there on the weekend there as well. But Kip Cuthbert's still going strong down at Puck Around all during the week. Get down there and check them out. Thank you, Kip Cuthbert, for allowing me once again to share that with our viewers. Okay, got lots to talk about. Of course, the Led Zeppelin and Rush tribute uh, happening down at the Stubborn Mule coming up this January the 28th. Tickets are only only $10 for this incredible event, and they're already selling very, very fast. So if you want to get down there, make sure you get down to Cheeky Monkey. They've got the tickets available, and you're going to want to get down there. If you're a Led Zeppelin or a Rush fan, you're going to want to get down there. So check that out, okay? Congratulations to our ticket winners here on the show, Rick Terpstra and Bonnie Curtis. They were the first two emails that got to me. Uh, one other email did get ahead, but they didn't give me the score of the game. They just told me who won, so sorry. You know who you are. Couldn't give you the tickets. Rick Terpstra and Bonnie Curtis are winners. Uh, if you're on my Facebook, I think you are. Get a hold of me. I'll be getting a hold of you and letting you know how you get your tickets, and we'll be seeing you down there. Of course, the show camera and myself, we're going to be down there for these events down at the Stubborn Mule. We will be there for the Led Zeppelin and Rush tribute, once again, January the 28th at the Stubborn Mule. I'll also be down there for Hotel California coming up. February the 11th, Hotel California, the world's number one tribute band to, yes, the Eagles are going to be down there. I've spoken to some people who have actually seen this group uh, down Toronto, Windsor Way. They've been all over the world and they say they are incredible and 
Always incredible things happening down at the Stubborn Mule. We will have ticket giveaways for that as well coming up on next week's show. So if you're a big Eagles fan, you're going to want to come back and take a look at the show so you can see how you can win tickets and be down there. And yes, we will also be down there for the show and we'll have my cameraman down there help me out that night as well. Also, exciting event, February the 25th, second annual Camel Street Station Reunion Tour brought to you by K106.3 and the Stubborn Mule. Going to be an incredible event. Here's what's happening. C-Spot Run is coming down to the Stubborn Mule for the second annual Camel Street Station Reunion Tour and special guest, Laughing Sam's Breakdown. And yes, Third Wave's going to be there as well. So going to be an incredible, exciting event. And we'll be talking to you more about how you could win tickets to that as well. But don't wait for me to give you tickets, okay? Because they are going fast. Last year when this event went on, it sold out and people were crying. I didn't get my tickets. Well, now is the time. You need to get down to Cheeky Monkey and get your tickets. They're only 12 bucks for this incredible event also happening down at the Stubborn Mule. All right, going to take a break, show you something a little special. And when we come back, I'll have some more exciting things right here on the show. Once again, there you have a lot of what's happening around the Sarnia area this weekend. Scrolling across the screen, of course, my friend Zodiac Bird playing the tune in the background there for you. That song's called Anywhere uh, by Zodiac Bird. Thanks, guys, for allowing me to play that. really means a lot and helps out a lot. So there you have a lot of what's happening, but of course, not everything. So here's what I want to do. I want to let you know if you are a band, a musician, a comedian, a jester. Yes, we've had jesters on the show. Um, anything, a charitable organization, you got a benefit going on, anything that's happening around Sarnia, let me know about it. Send me an email to info at davidburrows.ws. We'll definitely get you scrolling across the screen, and perhaps we can even talk about showcasing your benefit, your show, whatever it is, and maybe we'll even bring the camera down there and do some interviews and have a whole lot of fun. But I'll only know about it if you tell me about it. Send me an email to info at davidburrows.ws. Dot ws. Of course, once again, of course, you can also go down to sarnyrocks.com. Lots happening down there. Big calendar of events, uh, band of the month, person of the month, uh, website of the month. Check that out, sarnyrocks.com, for even more of what's happening in the Sarnia area. Of course, lots to talk about and say, hey, 2012, what do you do in 2012? Everybody said it's time to lose weight and quit smoking. Well, if you're really serious about doing that, Blackburn Radio is going to be down at the Dante Club this Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and it's called Get Out and Get Fit. And Blackburn Radio is going to be there. There's going to be vendors down there, demonstrations on how to be healthy, and, uh, you know, vitamin shakes and all this stuff, I don't know, but there's going to be lots happening down there teaching you and showing you how you can get out and get fit for 2012. That's this Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 4, down at the Donny Club. If you're serious about getting healthy, get down there and check it out. There's no charge to get in. However, they will accept donations to go to the YMCA Strong Kids Program, and you can make a donation and help out some of the kids down at the YMCA. All right, some more exciting events coming up. We are very, very excited to be talking to you. We have a special announcement coming up. January the 18th, next Wednesday. It will be on Wednesday, I promise you. We have been given permission from my friends down at K106.3. They have a special event going to be happening in February that they will be announcing on the radio January 19th. But they've given me the privilege of announcing it here first on the show before they even announce it on the radio. 
will be announcing this special event on January the 18th. So you will not get this anywhere else. Thank you, K106.3, for allowing me to do this. It is going to be an incredible event that we are announcing. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you get back here next Wednesday. Tell all your friends. Got to check out the show. There's this cool event going to be announced by David Burroughs on the show. That's coming up next Wednesday. I'll have some exciting announcement for you, so make sure you check it out. All right, other things happening around the Sarnia area as well. We were down at Norm's over the weekend. There was a special charity event for Ray John, specifically for Haiti, and uh, helping youth in Haiti getting educated and some other things. And, well, we were down there with the show cameras. Sound of Fans was down there and a bunch of other great local bands. Uh, but Sound of Fans headlining this charity event. And we were talking to Sound of Fans, and we were talking to Andrew Barodi was down there as well. I ran into some of my old friends from way long time ago. And we had a chance to speak to Laura Persichetti, uh, the coordinator for this event down at Norm's. And we're going to show you the footage right now. Take All right, here we are once again on the show, as I promise you, more exclusive footage happening here. We're down at Norm's for the Ray John fundraiser here tonight. And there's been a lot of local talent here in this evening. But there's a reason why we're down here at Norm's, and it's to raise funds for Ray John. And instead of listening to me, of course, we've got somebody in charge of putting this together. Laura Persichetti. How you doing, Laura? I'm excellent. Thanks for coming and supporting oh, the event. Thanks for being here on the show. Now, talk to us a little bit about, I mean, I know what Ray John is, but tell some of the viewers out there, what is Ray John? Ray John Share Care is an uh, organization that's actually 25 years old um, this year. And they started out in 1986 going on trips um, to Haiti, and they saw what was going on there. They saw the quality of life, and they right. wanted to make a difference. So it started with trips, and now they do all kinds of different projects from supporting kids to um, helping women start jobs to oh, health care, okay. all kinds of different things. So lots of things there. Now, how did you get involved in Ray John? What brought you to this? Well, in 2009, I was one of the, the youth that went on a trip. It was an awareness trip to Haiti and got hooked. Oh, wow. Right yeah. on. So you're here helping the cause, obviously, and, and uh, you've brought some great local talent here together tonight, and Norms has been very kind to allow you to have this uh, the location here, yeah. and uh, lots of things happening now. I know that uh, we're doing this just tonight, and some of my viewers are going to be seeing it after the event. Is there a website that somebody could go to find out more about Ray John? Absolutely. The website is www.rayjohn.org. And you can always um, email us as well, rayjohnyouth at hotmail.com. Um, we have a youth committee, and we get together and do events like tonight. And if you have a young person in your life that wants to get involved, maybe get some community hours and community service. Oh, um, for, for people like in high school type thing, maybe those hours. So how old would a, how young, I guess, would a person could be to, like what age group are you looking for? It doesn't really matter, actually. Our youngest uh, was 12 years old starting out, and she's grown up with us, which is kind of cool. So yeah, right on. Um, we don't really turn anyone away who wants to help out. Certainly. Well, volunteer help's always great. Now, uh, once again down here for the Ray John fundraiser show here at Norms, is there any other future events coming up that you want to share with my viewers that you're aware of right now? We have a bunch of different annual events, um, but you can check all that out online. We will have a summer event, and um, there's always the Ray John Fall Fair that occurs, and different stuff in between. So definitely check out online and contact us. And so we'll constantly things happening with Ray John around the Sarnia area. Absolutely. All right, Laura, thank you so much. I know you're really busy. You can hear the band there. We just had an interview with Sound of Fans, and uh, in the background there, you can hear they're on stage. I'm going to go take some footage of that. Laura, thank you once again. Oh, no All right. Worries. Thanks for coming out. All right, everybody, we're going to go back to the studio, and then we'll show you some footage of what's happening down here at Norms. All right, well, there you have, once again, Laura Persichetti from Ray John, the coordinator for this event that happened down at Norms. I know she says a very special thank you to uh, Tyler and Jen, owners of Norms down there as well, and all the staff. i got to tell you, the staff down there was incredible. Nobody ever walked by me and didn't ask me if I needed anything and had some of the food. The food was incredible down there as well. Lots of good times. Thank you, Norms, for allowing Ray John to put that on. And Laura, thank you for giving us some of your time. I know you're really busy around there sharing us the information just about what Ray John is. Of course, we'll be mentioning that website once again. If you still would like to continue to support Ray John and make a donation, even though the event over, I know they'd be happy to uh, have you visit their website and find out more about what Ray John is doing. Now, Laura also said there will be some more Ray John events coming up in the future, and she'll be happy to let me know when those are going on, and we'll be sure to share them with you. So congratulations, Ray John, for raising about $2,000. Now, 
Also, down there, some really cool guys that I know. We're going to talk to Andrew Barodi, and we're also going to talk to Sound of Fans. Take a look at this. Well, hello, everybody here. We're down here at Norm's here on the show, and we told you we'd be down here tonight. What a great turnout. We'll be showing you some more footage of the bands here, but we've got the privilege here tonight. Sound of Fans is standing here with us, and these guys, I know some of you have seen them perform, but if you haven't, they really are an incredible band. And we've got uh, Nick here and Trevor and the rest of the band here as well. How are you guys feeling tonight? Doing all right. Yeah, yeah. you're pretty excited about what's happening here tonight at Norms? It's a good time. It's packed. It's fun. It's, there's lots of good great, music. So great cause yeah, here, really like the cause. Rage On thing, you know. Yeah, and it's uh, this is specifically uh, for, for a Haiti fundraiser. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. Right. Now, how long have you guys been playing together? Collectively? Yeah. Eight, nine months, the four of us. Me and Nick, both three years. And it's been... Quite a roller coaster ride for you guys as a band. I mean, you've got a lot of synergy going on. Definitely. Uh, some big events you play. Let's let's talk about. Come on, mention a big event that you played in the past. Open up for Steve Miller at Bay Fest. Yeah, this past that's month. pretty exciting pretty stuff. Solid. You know, did you get to meet him? We did. We knocked on his door on his tour bus and went up and chilled and. Yeah, right good on. Guy. Well, I know you guys did a great performance down there, and uh, you know I've known a couple of you guys from uh, some karaoke in the past. And I know uh, Nick and Trevor specifically, I know you guys were talking about going to start a band, you know, and everybody's in the ass area. But you really guys have hit it off and you, you've put some synergy together. Uh, what's some future plans for the band? Where are you going with this? Uh, we're just playing as much as we can, really. Any yeah. gig, anywhere, pretty much. Uh, trying to play out of town as much as possible. We're playing uh, the Horseshoe in Toronto. Yeah, I was going to say, the Horseshoe, Day, now, that's got to be yeah. really exciting because uh, can you think of some uh, big name bands that have actually performed there in the, the past? Stones. The Stones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? White Stripes. It's, yeah. it's very cool. So who would you say, and I know this is kind of a cliche question, but your influences, guys. Who are, you, who are your influences? Jesus. Yeah, cool. Right yeah. on. How about you, Trevor? B Buddha. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. seriously. He's like the serious guy in the band, right? Exactly. <laughs> right? Your influences. Well, what can I say that hasn't already been said? Okay, and you? <laughs> uh, Confucius, man. That's yeah, right saying. on. Okay, very yeah. good. Well, there you go. We got sounds of fans here. Sorry, sound of fans, not plural. Singular. Sound of fans. We're down here at Norm's for the Ray John fundraiser here tonight. There's a whole lot more happening here. If you weren't here tonight, you really missed a great show. We're going to show you a little bit later on the show how if you weren't here tonight, you can still make a donation to this great cause. Guys, thanks so much. I know a couple of minutes are going on stage. Thanks so much, guys. All the best to you in your career, and uh, we we'll look forward to seeing some more. All right, okay? All right, stay tuned to the show for some more footage right now back to the studio. All right, once again, down here at Norm's on this Saturday evening here. We're having a great time January the 7th here on the show. Yeah, lots. We're hearing the applause in the background there for our good friend Sound of Fans. And now I got my friend Andrew Brody is here. Andrew, how you doing? I'm doing all right, Dave. Yeah, good yeah. times. All right, now you were on a little bit earlier. Sorry we missed the show, but uh, what are you thinking about the crowd that's happening down here tonight? Uh, it's a great crowd, uh, great bands coming out tonight uh, for a good cause. Sound of Fans, always my favorite local band, by the way. Yeah, Sound of Fans. Awesome. They're coming up playing down at the Horseshoe. We were talking to them, and that's pretty exciting. But uh, let's go over to you. How long have you been uh, playing around town here, Andrew? Um, probably since about grade 11 or 12 uh, with Fusius. Uh, we were a uh, band in high school, a couple other guys, and we're getting back together, actually. All right on. When yep. can we expect to see some of that come together? Uh, probably five or six months, get our bearings yeah, back okay, and learn the cool. old tunes. Right yeah. On. So we can expect to uh, see you guys on the show then. We'll showcase you a little bit. Absolutely. You'll That'd show off cool. some of your stuff. Yep. All now, Ray John, uh, of course, you're playing around doing some, are you doing a little, little bit of solo stuff around town once in a while, or is this just kind of a special event for you tonight? Uh, well, I play around town whenever, like tonight they're in a bind, they didn't have a sound guy or and, uh, another band backed out, so I was able to come in and help them out and run sound for the bands. and. For a good cause. Uh, yeah, right on. Yeah, so no, Great turnout here yeah. tonight at Norm's as well, Andrew. Absolutely. And, uh, once again, sorry we missed your show, but we look forward to seeing some more of you and your new band coming up. I want to thank you so much for uh, spending some time down here tonight. Andrew Brody, ladies and gentlemen, once again down here, a Ray John fundraiser, actually for Haiti specifically. Sound of Fans is playing there some more. We're going to be showing you some footage of them shorty. My favorite band, Sound of Fans, right by on. the way. Stay tuned on the show. 
Wow. Andrew, you're a funny guy. Sorry we missed your show. Sound of fans, I wish I could have put on a whole, uh, well, we probably will be putting on a whole segment about them on the show. I talked to the guys off camera. They're going to be playing down at the Horseshoe down Toronto Way coming up February 14th. As you heard them mention, they're very, very excited about that. And they'll be following up with me and letting me know where they're going to be playing. And we're going to showcase them here on the show. But they did an incredible job. These guys have got their own sound. Lots of synergy on stage, just in sync and having a really good time. And, of course, they were down there at Norm's putting on a great show as well. All right, don't forget, get out and get fit this Saturday and Sunday down at the Dante Club, 10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. Find out the best way to be healthy, quit smoking, all that stuff. And remember, coming up next Wednesday, special announcement. We are going to be teasing you, but we are going to be telling you this incredible event that is going to be happening coming up in February. K106.3 has given me permission to announce it before they even announce it on their radio station. Thank you so much, K106.3. Don't forget, take time. Share with five of your friends. I know you haven't all done it, but share with five of your friends. And remember to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to start adding little teaser weekend videos and other stuff going on in there that you're going to want to check out. Okay? Thanks again, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget, send me your information to info at davidburrows.ws and we'll see you next Wednesday for special announcements and special events right here on the show. Enjoy the rest of your week and have a great weekend, everybody. Bye for now.